Engineer 775 here, looking at a golf cart for a reason. We have so many solar panels left over from all the jobs that we've done. They're just kind of scattered around. They're, they're orphans. They don't have a home. And they're all different shapes and sizes. And so we've made solar golf carts. You might have seen those videos. And those are still working fantastic. We have two carts here on the farm that are beat to death but still work amazingly well. One's lithium, one's lead. So I picked up this cart on Facebook Marketplace. He was in really good shape. It's a 36 volt cart, it's just an easy go, nothing fancy, but in really good shape. So I bought it sight unseen. And so my goal was to see if I could just take this cart that's a good working cart in good shape and just convert it to solar and see if I can get rid of some of these panels. So. And it, as a filler job for the guys, just to go ahead and convert it. So what we're going to do, because the cart works, everything works great on it, is just put a bifacial solar panel on it and then and then get the uh, Genesun 36-volt lead-acid charger, the Buck Boost charge controller, and add it to the battery. And that's all we're going to do. This is just a standard lead acid 36. I'll probably clean these batteries up. And then, if that doesn't move those panels that way, I'll put a drop in 36 volt lithium and a lithium charger with it. So, anyway, this is just kind of a fun thing. We have found these to be extremely useful, practical, to never have to plug them in. And they sit here on the farm. There's one over there that gets used. This one gets beat to death. This one gets used more because it's more funner, meaning it has a lithium battery in it, 100 amp hours of lithium, and a pretty cool 400 amp controller. There's the charge controller. Everything's dirty because it gets, like I said, used a lot. So anyway, oh, and somebody left their marker in here for next time. <laughs> this thing is just hammered. You can see it's all weathered. It's been outside for seven, eight years, but we use it all the time. It just goes. It doesn't pull wheelies, but it definitely will jerk you back if you're not used to it. So we're going to convert some carts. The first thing we're doing is removing the roof. That's the easy part. James is getting the roof off. We took that ugly mirror off. Just cleaning up the top, and then we're going to figure out how we want to mount and we have found the unistrut to be the easiest way to mount the solar panels and it's been the toughest way to go so we're just going to do that so we start by removing the original cart roof and then adding some unistrut across and this is a bifacial panel it's pretty dirty right now we'll clean all this up and we just think about how we're going to route the wiring because all j boxes are different on panels and to get to the battery compartment but the first thing you want to do is get this thing well we'll paint the struts the unistrut black and kind of clean it up maybe i can find some black caps that snap in just to keep anything from cutting fingers and then we'll see how it does with the bifacial but i think that's pretty good we could use a longer panel to cover the back seat but i think we'll start with this this is just a just an orphan. All right, the next step was to add the solar panel. And after observing these carts for several years on the farm, one of the weaknesses is strengthening this frame system and making this like a box. So what I ended up doing, we had a lot of leftover metal brackets from some battery jobs that we have bolted to the frame of the solar panel and then bolted to the Unistrut. So it is a lot stronger than any other cart I've done before. So I think it looks good. For a non-factory install. So that's not a bad looking setup for the solar cart. So the charge controller for the lead acid battery will be here tomorrow. We'll put that in. And then we'll just uh, offer that up as a solar golf cart. And if it doesn't sell that way, I might add a 36 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery. And play around with that and I'll have a different charge controller for that. So this is kind of a first cart that we want to sell. So we bought the cart, we want to add solar to the cart and just to show everybody how awesome it is to have a cart that just basically 
runs itself. So that's been a lot of fun for our other carts that you see around here. They just sit out and they charge all day long. And so when you get on these carts, the battery's always at 100% and you're like, why is this thing not charged? It's always charged. So I just got the Genesun charge controller in. This is the Buck Boost controller. It is waterproof, so it's all potted and protected and fuse protected. So this will be going in with this battery. So we pulled the battery out of the golf cart. As you know, most flooded lead acid batteries are looking pretty crusty after a while. So we cleaned it up, cleaned the terminals up. We'll put some uh, what I call goose grease. We have this no oxidation goose grease. We'll put on all the cables, all the terminals, and get that thing in good shape. My unfortunate panel graveyard, my orphan panels out here, all different brands. One of this, two of that. These are some Q cells here. I've got HTs. I got, I have. Oh, so what I was hoping to do is turn all of these into golf carts, <laughs> meaning golf cart propulsion systems, battery charging systems, just one panel per cart and instead of wasting them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, picking up golf carts. If you got one you want me to convert, let me know and just converting them to a sustainable transportation device using uh, single solar panels, bifacial panels, monocrystalline panels, good quality panels are just, you know, there would extra one in the pallet um, or an extra two. And uh, this, if you're, if you install solar, you end up with a lot of these, unfortunately. And I hate wasting them. Look at these just been sitting out in the weather and there's nothing wrong with these panels but there's not enough to put together to make a good system so and you could cobble them all together but that's pretty bad so anyway that's what we're going to do these turn into golf cart power systems so here's the cart that i just purchased recently and refurbished it refurbished it added the solar panel and the buck boost charge controller so this cart right now there it is, LED light solid, battery is full, 36 volt charger. So now this cart no longer has to be plugged in, it can charge itself. And those charge controllers do a really good job of keeping the battery uh, floated and in good condition, better condition than just plugging that AC charger in. So I've been doing this for about five, six years and here's the next one. If you're interested, let us know. But this is, uh, again, what, <laughs> this is a cart that we did Five years ago and that carts and one we did about four years ago so we use them every day and so if you're interested in having your car either converted or you'd like to buy this one just let us know mm -hmm.